In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can generate stunning textures for your 3D AR models for free in ComfyUI. I will show you step by step how you can install the workflow on your own PC, how you can generate a high quality texture for your Tripo and Hunyuan 3D models and how you can use the model in the end in Blender. By the end of this video, you will be able to generate high quality textures for your 3D AR models in ComfyUI. Having said that, let's dive right into it. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Philip from Pixel Artistry. And today I want to quickly show you how you can generate those textures in ComfyUI for your 3D AR models. And this is quite straightforward, thanks to a guy called Huns. Huge credit to him this time, because Huns created this really nice uh, repository. Through the help with the NVIDIA adapter and Hunyuan 3D, we can generate those amazing textures. And the great thing is that we can not only use it for Hunyuan 3D, models, but also for Tripo Air models to give them a texture. I will quickly walk you through the installation and then we can have a look in ComfyUI how to run the workflow. So first of all, for the installation part, only thing we need to do is clone this repository that we have over here into the custom notes folder. Apart from that, we also need to have the NVIDIA adapter installed and as well, we need to have the Hunyuan 3D also installed. By the way, I'm using here the ComfyUI Windows Portable version. Uh, just keep that in mind. I didn't check it yet for the desktop version. It could work potentially, but I have no idea. So I always used the Comfy Eye Windows Portable because I had no issues at all with it. So it always worked great for me. So just keep that in mind also for the Hunyuan 3D install. So basically we can go then here into the Comfy UI folder, then to custom nodes. And as you can see, we have here already some custom nodes in it, which I installed before. But for this one, we simply first need to clone the repository that we have over here. So what we need to do is hit Control and C, then go here inside here, then type in here CMD in the custom notes folder. Then we're typing in git clone, and then we're pasting in the link that we copied on the, on the path on the top. Then we hit enter. And as you can see, a new folder is created for us. Once we have done that, we can then close this one again and then we already have the node package installed. All right, and first thing now to install the MV adapter, only thing we need to do once the UI opened is go to our manager over here, then go to install missing custom nodes, then to all, and then we can search here for MV. And then as you can see here, it says Comfy UI MV adapter, and this is the one we need for this workflow. Then you can go here to install, choose here nightly, select, and then it will install the workflow. Restart, Comfy UI. Once you have done that, then the ComfyUI MV adapter should be installed properly. Next thing you would need then to do is to install the ComfyUI Hunyuan 3D wrapper. If you haven't done that already, I will link you a video right here that you can just open and then there is a detailed guide how to install it. It's also quite straightforward. It just needs some preparation time, so I will not cover it in this video. Definitely check that out if you haven't uh, done the installation yet. To finally run the workflow now and install it, we first need to open the workflow and we can do that uh, which is also quite easily we go to ComfyUI, then to our custom nodes and then we go to uh, the one that we cloned into the custom nodes folder ComfyUI eg to multiview so image to multiview and we double click it and then as you can see here there's also an example workflow inside and we can either check the json file here so as you can see there is the normal one and there's one labeled with 12 so we will go first with the simple one so we will just simply uh, drag and drop this inside here. There are no errors right now. If there are still some, you can of course always go here then to the manager, install missing custom nodes and then do the same again. You will see them under missing here and then you can just install it and then restart ComfyUI and refresh the page. And once we are here in the workflow, first thing we can do is that we see over here we have the load image option. Over here we have the mesh creation phase, which is in this case using Hunyuan 3D. And over here we have then the uh, multi view where it's rendering us different angles and here we'll do the whole uh, image to texture part which we will use and then we have here the final texturing of the mesh itself. So first I will show you now how you can just use this workflow before we will also implement to retexture triple models. So for this one we will first use now the Hunyuan one and then triple. 
To do that, we will first uh, choose to upload a file. So in this case, I selected this guy over here, which we have, which is great. One requirement that you still need to do is put them in the folder. So basically here, it's using the Hunyuan 3D uh, Turbo model that I downloaded. I will, of course, also put you the link down below, which you then need to put in the Diffuser Models folder. And as well, we have here the VAE file uh, from Hunyuan 3D. By the way, I will also create a detailed PDF for you, like a checklist where you can also then see where everything goes in detail in case you find it hard to follow the video or something right now. So in case there's something unclear, you can also always check this PDF guide then. So here, for example, so you simply just need to put that in the VAE folder and download the VAE file. As you can see, then we have everything installed in place and here it should be also fine. And then simply what we can do first thing is then to run the workflow. Once we first run the workflow, as you can see, there's still some errors. So let's fix them quickly. So for this one, we first need to set here that we have the models in place, like both of them. And over here, we also see we have some red nodes, so we need to you have the checkpoint name installed. So in this case, it's the DreamShaper XL and we need to have the SXL VAE installed. To do that, we can simply go in here. I will also put you the link down below. And then what you can do is that you go then, for example, here in the mini turbo file, click on it, and then you can simply download here the model FP16 safe tensor file. Same thing is to do that for the VAE file that we see over here. So for this one, you also just simply need to go here in then the mini turbo, uh, the VA file, and then you can also simply download here. Just make sure to rename it maybe to something else. Just keep the dot save tensor in the end to make sure that you uh, that this is the VA file then. Same thing goes for here. So first we need to download then the Dream Shaper XL, which you can find on this website here, which I will also link you down below. Then you can hit here download and then put it in your checkpoints folder uh, in the models as well here in the SDXL VAE FP6 fix. You can also just simply go here to files and versions and then download here the Diffusion PyTorch model safe tensor file, download this one and then also put it into the VAE folder. Last but not least, this is just a simple upscale model. You can also choose here a different one. You don't necessarily need the upscaler for this one just if you want to have better quality. But if you want to do that, you can also download the BS Air Gen X2, which I will also link you down below in the video description. And one last thing you can notice as you can see our character is kind of stretched here and this is because we need a one-to-one -one ratio for a character. You can either do that in Photoshop or in any other editing program of your choice and then once you uploaded it with the one-to-one uh, -one ratio as you can see here it has the same resolution. Okay great once you have then all those models in the corresponding folders only thing you need to do is then go in here and then select them that you really have them then in the right place. As you can see here you can simply select them also here on the bottom and then let's uh, disable for now the image upscale because this can take some time you can of course use this as well if you have a strong pc otherwise i would just recommend to disable it for now and what you can do then is just simply hit run and to make the workflow generate our 3D model. Okay, great. And once it finished everything, as we can see here, it first generated our 3D AR model, which is cool. Then it UV unwrapped the mesh and then it loaded in here the different perspectives that we need. Then based on those perspectives that we have over here, those angles, it will then generate the textures through the mode view, which is great. And then it will generate here our texture. So obviously, as you can see on the, on the head here, it's not working that great, to be honest but you could for example fix with texture painting later on then in blender if you want or of course also regenerate okay great and this is the workflow with Hunyuan. basically you can do that with any image you want just make sure that it's in a one-to-one -one ratio as mentioned to actually be able to also use Tripo AI models in this workflow, it's also quite straightforward. First open the Tripo workflow I showed in my last video. Once you open the workflow, what you can do then is that, for example, I have here this crap image, which I also used in my last video as a good example, and then you can generate it here. Make just sure that you downsize the chunk size quite a lot to something like 16,000 or something, because otherwise the UV unwrapping can just take 
quite a while. Also this one here we can decrease to something like 280. Tree push should still give us a quite okay result, uh, but of course make sure to play around there with the settings. Okay, great. And once it's generated well with the shape structure and everything that we have, and now we have to pay close attention actually where Triple AI is saving our mesh. It's saved under the 3D Triple SG branch. So what we can do is we go back to our original workflow, then we will navigate to the folder where we have to save output and then 3D Triple SG labeled. As you can see, this is the latest state we have at 10 18 a.m. created. And now to actually make it work to import our GIB file that we just created in the last step. It's also quite simple. So first we want to take the, because it's really important that we have the Hunion 3D mesh UV wrap here because our current model that we created with Triple doesn't have any UVs and we need those UVs to generate later the texture on the mesh itself. So what we will do is then that we uh, unplug this one here. And what we will do is we will create a load mesh node. So as you can see, it's here a Hanyuan 3D load mesh node. And then we can plug this one into the tri mesh. And as you can see, we have here then a GAB path it's asking for. So what we can do then is that we go over here um, to our GAB file. Then we can go here, right click, copy as path, and then we will simply paste it in here then we will get rid of the double quotes so it's properly reading the mesh like this what we will do then as well as that we disable the mesh creation step that we have over here because this is using the union 3d workflow which we don't need in this case i will also clear my vram again you can either do it here when you have the plugin installed otherwise you can also always go here to the manager and then here unload your model as well as a last thing go here to choose file to upload, then choosing our crap image again. Make also here sure that it has the same resolution like in a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. And as you can see it, we then directly start with the Hunion 3D mesh UV wrap. This could take a bit uh, longer, but then it should work a bit faster. Okay, great. And once it run the workflow, as you can see, it generated here the multi-view. It's doing all the angles that we need. As you can see here, it's also generated then the texture for it. And as you can see, we have then a finely textured result, which will be then saved in the Hunion 3D textured version. You can do that with any model from Tripo, for example, and also from Hunion 3D, of course. You just need to be sure that it's a GAB mesh and also developed or generated with the tri mesh method, because otherwise it won't work. One last thing is that we can then also import our mesh, for example, into Blender. I go to import, and as you can see, here we have our Tripo AI mesh, and we can then also go here to the textured version. As you can see, this is also working. What we can do then is then, for example, do fixes on the clause, for example, which I have also planned in another video. So in general fixes as well. And this is then our final mesh that we have. I really hope you enjoyed this quick video and that you now find a way or know how to generate textures of some comfy UI for your 3D AI models and to be able to use this great multi-view adapter on your 3D AI models. As always, uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to my free newsletter future frames where I will share with you on a regular basis my news findings and the latest AI 3D news. All right and see you in the next one.